Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to the behind the scenes of Dear Leo. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the short film. If you guys haven't watched it, make sure to go watch it up here. So this idea I pretty much had for a while to write about a girlfriend writing a letter to her boyfriend. At the end, you find out that they've been dead, but you just think they're gonna get married or something in that sort. It was inspired pretty much by 500 Days of Summer. If you guys haven't seen that movie, you guys can kind of see where I went with it. So it's a 12 page script pretty much. And when we were filming, we were, all right, cool, this is gonna be an easy shoot. We can get it done in a week and all that stuff. But the first day of filming, our behind the scenes friend and co-writer got sick. And then the person that's playing Dear Leo also was getting sick, so it was a rough night. All we did that night was shoot the intro, the outro, and some of the middle. So we didn't plan any rehearsals or anything like that. So we just went for it. I had it written, I had to explain to them what we were doing that day. And yeah, go on from there, which was probably my biggest mistake and something I did learn from filming. Have rehearsals or have a storyboard written out that's fleshed out that they can see and being like, okay, this is how it's gonna go, and you will be golden instead of wasting two weeks of rehearsals, which I didn't mind, I don't know if they mind, but we had two weeks that we filmed every other day, and I came back and started editing it, and then it turned out we forgot to close the door in one of the scenes, which in the other scene it was open. So we forgot little errors like that, Thank you to Connor and Courtney because they were pretty much the main stars in this movie and they surprised me because one of them was in theater and the other one, Connor, Connor can just act. It surprised me when they were doing the fight scene if you guys heard the audio in that. Uh, the baby was pretty much a tricky situation. We were trying to see if we can find a baby. The baby came in like when we were finishing the script. We were, it was either Connor or Giselle that said, hey, let's add a baby in there. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a little bit more emotional. And, and then luckily Giselle just had a little baby brother and it semi looked like Connor and Courtney minus the, minus the baby being really brown. So for the equipment, I used a Sony a7S Mark II. And for the lens, I used a 28 F2 lens and that's pretty much all I used. And for audio and all that stuff, we used a Rode NTG4, which is my personal favorite audio that you guys can hear right now. I'm a little sick, so it might sound a little weird. We did use a Ronin M for the first shot, and then at the end, we used the Ronin again. So we only used it for two sections of the film, and the rest was pretty much just handheld. And in the house, we tried to um, tell the difference between what state of their relationships they were, but I just couldn't figure out a way to do it without like adding text in there or so on and so forth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes because this was my first time having like proper actors, a proper script, and didn't go off of my head how we usually do our videos back in the day. So this was a whole new learning experience. I loved it, can't wait to do more shorts on this channel because I have a couple that I want to do. And if you guys want to see those, just make sure to come to the channel and make sure to go watch Dear Leo and vote. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.